In today's video, you're going to learn how to pitch in a way that truly communicates what your audience is waiting to hear. It's about giving a pitch that doesn't just tell about what you built, but instead tells what they want to know about your whole business. I'll show you step by step how you can instantly restructure your pitch for real impact. Now, this approach has helped successful startup founders raise millions of euros, and it's also helped thousands of professionals get attention for their ideas in companies like Tommy Hilfiger, Tata, and TomTom. I'm David Beckett, pitch coach and creator of Best Three Minutes, and I believe a great pitch can change your career, can change your confidence, can even change your life. Now let's face it, for years, most pitches have gone something like this. Well, here's our product, uh, here's more about our product, and uh, here's why we think our product is great. Uh, by the way, here's some extra details um, about our product, and uh, oh, here's one more thing you didn't know uh, about our product. So, um, any questions? You can feel it, right? While the pitcher focuses on what they do, the listener switches off pretty quickly. That's not a pitch that's going to land with investors or customers or get you the result that you need. And yet, in a way, it's understandable. Look, I've been involved with creating products too, and I get it. It's so tempting simply to tell all the details of the product that we've been working on. After all, we're working on it day and night, so we want to get all the great stuff we created out into the open, and they just need to know and understand how, how great it is, and then, well, and then they'll buy it or invest in it, right? <laughs> well, probably not. Fact is, people buy into what speaks to them. They commit to ideas and propositions that match their interests, match what's happening in their world, and solve their problems. They believe in unique approaches and proven solutions. They believe in people who are committed and have the right skills and character. And they respond well to people who can pitch ideas with certainty and passion. But when the message is, um, yeah, we've got this product and uh, or we worked a lot on it, so um, uh, here's all the details about the product. Interested? The answer is usually no. I'm not interested. In fact, I don't know why I should be interested. How can we switch this around? Simple. We talk about the things that your audience is interested in. I've spent years researching what people who listen to pitches want to hear. And at the first stage, those things are something like this. The pain you solve and how big it is, which tells them about the size of the opportunity. Yes, you talk about the product, but you focus on how much it improves the lives of the people struggling with the pain. We'll talk about what's unique about that product. And you'll share about your progress, your traction, and your validation. Who are the people behind the business? What you need to make it happen in terms of money and resources, and what milestones that investment will help you reach. And finally, a clear call to action. So let's have a closer look at what the modern successful pitch might include. And we start with the pain, the problem you're solving. And tell them how big it is, how much time are people losing, how much unnecessary cost is there for companies, how much energy is being wasted, or are customers simply going crazy with some stupidly clunky solution? Then you get to tell about your product, yes, but not in all the technical details. Instead, we focus on what it does to solve the customer's problem and how much better it makes their lives. For example, maybe you're able to say something like, well, once customers start using it, time is cut in half, or their cost is reduced by 60%, or maybe our clients find that customer satisfaction grows by more than 30%, or energy wastage is cut by a fifth. They want to see the product, so show them a simple demo for 10 to 15 seconds as you explain what's unique about your solution. If you already have sales, you can tell them how many users you have, how fast you're growing, or which companies have already bought it. Or if you're an early stage company, tell about how you validated your concept by talking to potential customers and share why are they waiting for your solution. 
tell something brief about the team behind it and why their experience and character make them exactly the right team to make this business become a massive success. If you're pitching to investors, you'll tell them about how much money you need to make it happen. And you'll tell about what you'll spend it on and which milestones you'll reach with the investment. And if it's a customer pitch, you'll share the next steps. Perhaps the next step is a follow-up meeting with more people in their organization. Maybe you're proposing a pilot. Or finally, after five meetings, it's time to sign a deal. Whether it's an investor or a customer, be sure that the call to action is crystal clear. Then you can answer their questions, get feedback, and plan the follow-up. Notice that in this new pitch of today, you're starting with the pain, the problem you solve, because that's the why of the product. You didn't create it so that you could use blockchain or Web3 or some other great tech. You created a product to solve a problem. That's what will connect with your audience and trigger their interest. So that's what we start with. Also notice that when you talk about your product, it's less about what it does and more about the result, the time it saves, the cost it reduces, the energy savings made. If they want to know how it works, don't worry, they'll ask. But investors and customers are rarely convinced by the 11th product feature. It's more likely they'll be convinced by an amazing outcome for customers. Next, you're giving proof that people love it or are waiting for it. Plus, you're sharing something about the people behind the product. Both of these factors are about building trust and credibility. And finally, you're telling about next steps, what investment you need or the way forward with a customer. In short, instead of product, 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 you're telling the pain, the product, what's unique, giving proof, telling about your team and being clear on next steps. That's a pitch that will speak to your audience and that will communicate the value of your proposition and tune into their interests. Now that's a pitch that will get the result that you really want. There are a bunch of tools such as the Pitch Canvas and some cool guide videos that can help you further with building your winning pitch. Check the links down below for all those resources. Finally, just remember that most pitches are done the old way. Most startups and companies are simply telling, here's what we do, and hoping. If you challenge yourself to do it the new way, you're putting yourself one step ahead of your competition just by how you tell your story. Don't wait. Try it out in your next pitch. I've seen successful startups pitch this way, and I'm certain this approach will help you get closer to your goal. Leave a comment below to let me know how it works for you. Hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe. I share practical tools on this channel to help you make that winning pitch, to raise your funds, and get the resources that you need to take your ideas to that next level. So just hit the subscribe button below.